and welcome back to Heather Green TMD you know Gage um, I've been buying online again this week unfortunately depending on your point of view but I have another Crompton I have an addiction so this now makes five Cromptons um, when it gets here um, this one will be a blue one just to be not grey um, we need a bit of colour on here and talking of colour what we're going to do in this video the actual subject is we're going to make some weeds um, I want a bit of height and some different colour over there in the back so I'm going to make some verbascum I think they're called and um, they're plants that generally on the railway I'll notice them being about two foot tall because the ground isn't the best um, so they've got a nice velvety green leaf and uh, a small yellow clump of flowers on top of a long stem so that is what we're going to go for in this video just to make something and add a bit of detail that stands out from the rest of the normal background so I'll see what I've got in my little drawers and see what uh, we can come up with see you on the workbench I've raided my drawer so what are we going to do well I've got some fishing line here which I'm going to use for the main stem of the plant I've got some a couple of different sized bits of greenery here for leaves and you won't be able to see very much in there but in this packet there are some green leaves and I'll use those for the base at the bottom of the plant so how are we going to do this well utilizing some PVA it's going to be quite a simple little experiment I want to plant about uh, two inch, inch tall so if I cut an inch and a half roughly a fishing line it won't be too curved it'll have a bit of a curve in it which is fine not a problem and I'm going to start off with coating the stem with a bit of glue For that, I'm just going to dip, dip the fishing line in a little tub of PVA. So I've got some glue. There we go. Simple as that. We just run the blob to the top, and we'll run it down again, just so it coats nicely. So right at the top of the stem, there's going to be some green. I should have got this prepared first. What I have here is some tubs of coloured sand. So right at the top of the stem, it's going to be some greenery. So we'll just get a good, good long bit of a green to start with on the stem. Now, I'm just going to grab a piece of tissue. there and I'm going to find a cocktail stick and up near the top but not right at the top I want some more glue on top of the sand now what this is going to create is a sticky part just down from the top and on this one, I'm going to sprinkle some yellow. There we go. So now we've got green at the top of the stem, which is the buddy bits where the leaves haven't opened yet. The buds will have the yellow of the buds that are opening. We'll then get some more glue, make another layer, and we'll put some green leaves on. So we'll come back in a second to that. Okay, so here's the top tip. A clamp, because then I can put it down and move stuff around while that's still gluing. So there we have the first part of the plant. So now we're going to layer it up slightly. So again, cocktail stick. I'm just going to down the bottom here. 
put some more glue in a little band around the bottom. some greenery. We're just going to sprinkle that. Now this we will tone this down with a little white wash afterwards depending on how it looks it might look fine. So we're just going to sprinkle some leafy texture try to keep it a little bit not too blobby. So there we have that. So the greens are slightly different, but that doesn't matter. It's coming along, it's sort of looking plant like ish. And uh, we'll get ready in a minute and we'll stick some big leaves around the base. Come to a different camera angle because my camera has got a flat battery that I was trialing. Um, but never mind, that's fine. So what I have is a small selection of, I've got here five paper leaves. So I'm going to try carefully, just dip the leaf in the PVA. So we just put a tiny dot and stick it on the bottom of the, try to do this so you can see which makes it slightly more awkward. But we'll just stick it so it hangs on the bottom of the plant. And hopefully, once it's dry, I can get them all to sit up at a better angle, but we'll get one first. I'm going with five. So I'll just stick the leaves at a random angle around the base of the plant. And hopefully, hopefully I can get them all to stick on. And once I give it a wash of some, some green, an appropriate shade, different tones will blend in a bit better. Stick this one around here. I'm going to stick to the tweezers instead. times when you just put it on you should just leave it alone just put it on leave it alone it'll go where it goes that leaf is going there I'm gonna flatten these ones out a little touch there we go so we get a couple more around this side of the plant never done anything this is definitely more detail than I've ever done before on a on a weed Just trying to so just so it can be identified as a by Burnham. Hmm. Get it there. Last leaf. Around here. 
And now that I've lowered it down into the front, I'm hoping that that sort of, once it's toned in a bit, will give a good representation. And that will leave that to dry. Okay, and what I'm going to do now, much to my disgust, I'm going to make, again using a bit of fishing wire, do a spot of glue. That's a buddleia flower. And again, just dip it in there, dip it in there, tiny butterly flower. So I'm just going to make like th three or four of these that I can just stick into a bush on the layout. I don't want them large, I just want tiny little spot. It's literally just a dip drip of glue on the end. Tiny little purple sand. Somewhere in this room, oh here it is. Was another little bottle of flower. So that'll do and it actually even gives it the right shape as it pushes the glue down the little stem so I can create a little buddly bush out of one of my bushes that's already on the layout um, in case of they're just starting to invade the railway okay what I've also got is some of these long fibers for now if I spread these around in my fingers, just to separate them, the tops, again we'll use some yellow, so we'll just get the yellow sand, this may be a long way of doing it, I'm trying to do this so I don't lose everything, now that they're separated, again I'll just dip them in the glue, in the PVA, it's sort of stuck together, but that's fine. We'll just dip them in there. So now we've got some little, little yellow flowers that we can plant on the layout as well. So these ones being a little bit more rounded will create some little dandelions that I can just stick in the layout. So we'll just cut those off there. So we have a little assortment all over the back there. First off we'll start with the buddley bush. I shall just get my little mini buddley flower a big bush and just glue it and insert it into the bush. So literally just get that dip it in the glue find you the fishing wire fishing line not quite there there we go we'll just stick that one in that gap I'm not going for lots of flowers, I don't want too many flowers on the bush, but we'll just stick them in. Yep, 
And yeah, we'll stick this one around the back here a bit. And that will dry nice and clear, and we'll get a shot of them in a bit. So I've created little broadleaf little plants. There we go. Well, there's one little flower in there then. Okay, you're going to struggle to see them at the minute, but if I just put a couple of yellow flowers on each little plant base that I've made. I aren't necessarily going to see them straight away because of the glue. I had set some little plants with the border leaves to act as dandelions. And I shall just continue planting away. Let's put the glue and stick it on. So there we have some dandelion plants. I'm trying to get him to stand up a little bit on it. Just so he's not completely flat on the ground. Got a few more to add and then we'll get some photographs. Enjoy your modelling, stay safe and I'll see you soon. From Heather Green TMD, catch you next time. Bye.